yeah. what is your uh, what is your typical warm up protocol when you're when you're doing your your work? This is a big one I get a lot from from users, and I usually point them in a, a couple of different directions. But we're really trying to standardize that as something we can recommend to people who are starting testing with force plates. Yeah, we, we have different approaches usually. At, like if we're testing our own students where we've got full control from when they come into the lab to when you do the testing, then it, it's generally your typical ramp warm-up and finishing off with some dynamic stretches and some sub-maximal jumps just to make sure that the queuing's there uh, that they're familiar with. Um, we, we never really test anybody unless, unless they've been familiar familiarised with the protocol. And so I always suggest that with, when we go out to clubs and test, that we do quite, or we used to do quite frequently before lockdown, is we get them to make sure that the athletes understand the, the jump protocols early. So maybe in the previous training block, they incorporate some counter movement jumps into the warm ups anyway with hands on hips just to understand what cue we expect. Um, but with team sport athletes, because we tend to be an outside organization that comes in to provide them a service through taking some force based measurements, not just jumps, but ISO pulls and some other bits mm -hmm. and pieces. It tends to be their strength and conditioning coach that takes their warm up. Sure. Now, so that will vary somewhat between different clubs, uh, depending on what session they actually have on that day. We normally sneak in during you know, the start of a training session um, to do sort of do our testing. But certainly, it's, it's typical, you know, some uh, a ramp warm up comprised of some dynamic stretches towards the end, and always some perceived you know 75 and 50 percent max effort counter movement jumps just to make sure that you understand the the mechanics that we're interested in having said that we don't want to manipulate people's jump strategy we want to see what their natural jump strategy is so and unless somebody's ass literally hits the floor or they're so stiff that they're not getting off the floor we maybe provide some feedback on that but hopefully you would do that prior to um, commencing your testing session and then 